Hey viewers and welcome to the review and in reaction of and you thought there is never a girl online episode four. Now, as you know, this is not my room. This is like, you know, spring breaks here, you know, chill with your friends and family. So I'm kind of chilling, you know, in the room, you know, relaxing, that kind of thing. So I want to talk about episode four. Now, episode four wasn't that too hype. I mean, it was it was good, but it wasn't that good. So, by good, I mean, like, scale of 1 to 10, I will give it a, probably 6.5-ish at well. 6.5. Now, this episode was, we understand, like, we had a lot of fun with it, with episode 3, being that the fact that the teacher was actually the person that you wanted to date. But we're going to move on with that and go to 4, where we told, where it teaches a lesson, which is, which is the importance of an online girl being so caught up in the reality of boyfriend and girlfriend in both real world and online. Yes, she's in. Yes, she's married to. She's married online, kind of like Asuna and Kirito. But it's like, but in the reality, what is like Asuna and Kirito, but in a whole bizarre way. That's what it is. So this for so and. One thing I want to talk about is that girl with the pigtail girls, um, what's her name? Yashin, the, the the German name was called for pig. She's, she hates to be embarrassed about being herself. Now, as a gamer, we try to be ourselves. And rarely, nowadays, that kind of happens. But people who so fixated on being, them, being the opposite of themselves, they don't want to reveal their friends that they're them. Like, let's say, let's say, let's say, um, let's say, oh, you, uh, I have a hobby, but I can't tell you. It's like keeping a secret. You telling people about, you see, telling people like, oh, um, is that time? Okay, I gotta go. And then your friends find out, oh, you play online. You're an online gamer. So what? Now, this was, this episode was really funny at times. I mean, remember that friend with a pink, her best friend with the pink hair? Yeah, she just found out that she plays online. Some kind of League of Legends, League of Nations, that kind of game. And everybody's going in on it. Now, the thing about Akko, the cute girl, that long black girl I like. I'm about to say black girl. <laughs> I'm bugging out. Black hair girl I like so much. She's, I like her, you know. But she got to tone it down with the stalking business. She got to turn it down. I mean, I mean, really turn it down. I mean. If he does something, you're gonna start like this. You're gonna hide. Yo, you're gonna try hiding yourself from one place to another. I can't even like put. I can't even understand her. I mean, she is cute enough, but she needs to tone her relationship down up a notch. Otherwise, otherwise, she won't get a lot of street cred from that. But as the episode goes on, we find out that there's other things that we introduce. For example, Cloud. Yes, Final Fantasy. Slash Smash Brothers character is actually in this game. Well, in the game in the online world because apparently him and uh, this girl, apparently <coughs> Akko and Resh Russian are on a date online. In our online, they're dating, and they go around this and that, and then they go to this graveyard, pass towards the graveyard site, and they see the girl, the teacher. Now. Her guild was just like, it got a little confused at times because I didn't understand what was going on. But then all of a sudden, Cloud came in the picture and Cloud, they're like, Cloud, son. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got Cloud now. Cloud is actually being introduced in this one. I mean, I'm looking at this one, I'm like, he has the sword for it. But just imagine if that Cloud in that anime go against that Cloud in Super Smash Brothers. Do you really think who will win in a fight? Because I'm sure see it. But anyway, Akko is an adorable yandere. But um, she got that blonde, uh, what you call the bitchaloy thing, you know? That's kind of that's 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 kind of like that. It's just her, but it's like she's not blonde, but she has that blackish hair that curls around, going creepy and this and that. She gotta take, she need to take things slow. And the thing about the the thing about switch switch line. She could, she a Cinderay thing. I don't have problems with Cinderay. Just I find Cinderay's a bit like, like how you say, 
like that, I mean, they gotta let go. But that's what Sunder Rays are. So I don't blame, I can't argue with that. I mean, I like Sukumi from Seki Ray. And look how she turns out. Pretty good. Now, uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah, I want to talk about what happened after. This girl came into the picture and all caught with the tentacles of the squid. Small little tentacles. And they freed her. Now, she's like, to her, she's like, she's a level one fighter because she doesn't have all those clothes. But, however, while everybody was getting ready, she got into the arms of Russian. And now Akio is pissed off about it. So now, what you start with, so what he started is not just a, is a harem situation, a love rival that we all see in harem and edginess, a rivalry showdown between who, between this new girl and this wife. That's how it is. That's how in the world of harem and edginess. So, this episode was, again, was pretty good. It teaches me, well, it teaches you and me about the importance of being yourself and telling your friends that even though you're a gamer, at least tell them, at least, don't try to hide, don't try to be a uh, tsundere, be yourself. And and if you're an online gamer and you're marrying somebody online, take it from advice from Kirito and Asa, because maybe they could teach you how to do romances. That's it for now. So, I know how episode 5 is going to be, which is that her best friend is actually the girl playing her. We all know that's going to happen. Well, if you guys read the manga, you guys did, I didn't, but you get the idea. So, tune in for tune in for next week, and uh, next week I'll be in my room again, so I get to watch the shows in peace. So, tune in next week about it.